Lucifer, the king of hell, the ruler of darkness, had finally made his way to Japan in a Japanese horror movie called Echo Echo and Zarak, Wizard of Darkness. The story is pretty scary and the plot had an unexpected twist. The movie is worth watching and I personally loved it. The atmosphere and everything that makes a horror movie good was present throughout the film and in today's video, we're gonna see the whole story of this movie. So make sure to stick around till end and subscribe my channel if you haven't because this is the only place you get to see horror from around the world. And with that said, let's dive into the video. The movie begins with some info about Lucifer how he was once an angel and how he ended up as a demon and after that we see a girl scared to her death running on the bustling roads of Japan but no one was following her at least not someone we could see she ran and ran and ran and then she fell and witnessed the pictures of Lucifer around her everywhere it was then that we know that a demonic cult is performing a ritual on that girl they had a voodoo doll and as soon as that cult stabbed that doll with a knife, a huge metal object from a construction site fell right on that girl, crushed her face and she died in a blink. After that, the cult gave one of their members a demonic task in which the member had to sacrifice 13 people in a school and after that, the Lucifer will rise on the earth. From here, the scene goes on school students in the morning. At the entrance of school, a pervert teacher named Hitio was sexually touching girls given that they don't sneak something illegal into the school. But we all know that his intentions were not so pure. Soon a new girl came at the entrance and her name was Kuroi but for some reason Hitio didn't touch her. Now we see a guy named Mizuno who were telling his classmates about his demonic theory. Mizuno was interested in witchcraft and he had figured out that from a past couple of days there are people dying around the school in a particular pattern and the pattern was actually a pentagram. According to Mizuno, someone had used black magic to kill all those people to summon Lucifer himself. But there was one more strange thing and that was that their school was just in the middle of that pentagram and Mizuno told everyone that it means that Lucifer is gonna wake up somewhere in their school. This scared some kids but some didn't believe him at all. Anyway, soon the class started and we meet the class teacher Shirai. Today Shirai introduced Kuroi to the class, a new transfer student who caught everyone's eyes. The class welcomed Kuroi with friendship and she became friends with a girl named Mizuki who gave Kuroi a tour of their school. During that tour, Mizuki and Kuroi came across a forbidden room where a teacher had killed himself long ago and since then the room was off limits. After that, in the locker room, Mizuki told Kuroi about that pervert teacher Hideo and how he likes to touch girls. But there was more to this school gossip. Kuroi soon finds out that their class teacher Shirai is a lesbian and she's in a relationship with one of their classmates Kazumi. But as soon as Mizuki took Kazumi's name, she began feeling extreme pain in her throat as if someone was strangling her. Mizuki couldn't breathe and that was when Kuroi did some magic and she stopped a demonic ritual that was happening in the school basement. Kuroi then immediately ran into the basement and from there the ritual performer was long gone. But Kuroi found a voodoo doll of Mizuki and someone was using that doll to strangle her. It was then we knew that Kuroi is a powerful witch and she's here to stop those cult members but she had no idea what their intention is. Anyway, Kuroi took the doll with her and she told Mizuki everything that happened. Mizuki was then scared because she had no idea why someone would put a curse on her and there, for Mizuki's protection, Kuroi gave her a crystal ball which would repel any curse that could be dangerous for Mizuki. After that, Kuroi was studying about the curse when a guy named Kenishi came to her and asked Kuroi out because he liked her since the moment he saw her in the classroom. Now before Kuroi could say something, Mizuki came there and took Kuroi to a secret place. At that secret place, Mizuno had gathered multiple classmates and he was casting a curse on teacher Hideo so he'll stop messing with the schoolgirls. But seeing his fake voodoo doll and wrong magic techniques, Kuroi laughed and showed everyone a real voodoo doll. She made fun of Mizuno saying your curse won't do nothing with Hideo and this flipped Mizuno. He then let Kuroi cast the curse and she, on behalf of everyone, casted a small curse on Hideo which will teach him a lesson. 
After casting the curse, everyone was in their claws when Shirai came and it informed everyone that Hideo's claws had been cancelled because he had suddenly caught diarrhea. Everyone hooted out of happiness and they began cheering for Kuroi but Mizuno felt opposed and oppressed and he left the claws in anger. Mizuno was then smoking near the stairs when he heard two teachers talking about Kuroi and he found out that in Kuroi's previous school, all of her friends died but no one knew why and Mizuno could use this type of information against Kuroi. Now the scene goes on teacher Shirai and student Kazumi who were in the forbidden room and were making out. They had sex on the table but Hideo saw him together and as soon as their sight captured Hideo's, he ran away. But now Kazumi was scared as Hideo will tell the whole school and she'd be destroyed. But there Shirai promised Kazumi that she won't let it happen and that Hideo won't speak if he wouldn't be able to speak. Now the next day, when Kuroi came to the school, everyone was frowning at her. No one was talking to her as well. But then, a girl informed that Hideo was into a car accident last night and he has no chance to survive. Mizuno there blamed Kuroi for she had cursed Hideo. And not only that, Mizuno had found another voodoo doll under Hideo's desk and someone had performed a second deadly ritual on Hideo. There, Kuroi told everyone that she's in the one who casted that deadly spell but no one believed her cause Mizuno had told everyone what he has heard about Kuroi. There was no one there who stood up for Kuroi so she ran to the terrorists but there came Kanishi who believed that Kuroi is not behind Hideo's accident. He calmed Kuroi down and again asked her out and this time she said yes. Now after the class, teacher Shirai informed the kids that everyone who hadn't given the test last time or have missed the test must give it again today after school. She then left the class and Kazumi went after her and she knew very well that Shirai was behind that deadly curse but Kazumi kept her mouth shut. Now after school, teacher Shirai handed over the test to the kids who stayed and then she left them be. But the funny thing was, no one even tried to cheat even when teacher was gone. Shirai went to the forbidden room where Kazumi was waiting for her but even after the test was over, Shirai didn't return to collect the papers. It was then that everyone heard a loud banging of bells multiple times and then a girl named Raina noticed something on the blackboard. Suddenly, there was number 13 written on it which wasn't there a moment ago and Mizuno uttered that it's the number of devil. But boys were getting bored so they leave their tests and went home. At the same time, a girl named Shay went to the toilet while other girls discovered that the windows are all locked up. Now we see boys who put on their shoes and were off to their homes but as soon as they stepped foot outside the school, they all found themselves in a dark classroom and this scared the shit out of them. Meanwhile, she was now locked inside a toilet stall. She began banging on the door but somewhere in the school, someone poured water on a voodoo doll and then suddenly, all the taps were open on their own. The sinks overflowed and the water gushed out from inside the toilet. It scared Shay and she screamed for help but no one was listening. Now while Shay didn't return for a long time, a girl named Raina went to check on her but as soon as she left, all the boys returned to the class and began telling the girls what they just experienced. On the other hand, Raina raised the toilet and she was scared to see that everything there was damp. She then opened the locked toilet stove and Shay's dead body fell on her which scared Raina to her death as she screamed at the top of her lungs. Hearing Raina, everyone in the class ran to the toilet but guys and girls and days and them, now the number 13 on the blackboard turned into 12 and now it means someone is going to sacrifice everyone. Now when the students reached the toilet, they all were horrified to see a dead Shay and all of them ran to the teacher's room but Kuroi stayed there in the toilet and helped out Raina. Anyway, in the teacher's room there were no teachers present and everyone in fear began dialing all the phones that were on the tables but no phone was connected to the line. There then Kuroi came with Reina and then Mizuno tried to break a window but the glass had become as solid as diamond. 
It was then that everyone knew that they all were trapped in the school and Mizuno blamed all that on Kuroi but suddenly an earthquake hits the teacher's room. Kuroi stated, quick, leave this room right this instant and everyone ran to the exit but only seven can make it out and the rest five got trapped inside. The ones who made it out tried to open the door and Kuroi even tried her magic to break the door open but it was no use cause for some reason Kuroi's magic was futile. The five who were stuck inside the room were screaming for help and their blood was gushing all over the windows cause something demonic was killing them all. After a while everything went silent and Kanishi opened the doors and he puked to see the horror cause that demonic thing had butchered all five students. After this the remaining seven returned to their homeroom and began thinking what just happened. There again, Mizuno blamed Kuroi for everything that happened but Kanishi there protected her. Everyone then just wanted to go home and escape this nightmare but it was then that Raina made everyone look at the backboard cause there the number had changed into 7 and then it was clear as glass that the number was representing the number of the students who were about to get sacrificed. Mizuno that stated that they're all gonna die and scared everyone but Kuroi and Mizuki stood up and made everyone understand the fact that it's no use to be scared and that they need to find a way out of this hell instead of crying. Some were in Kuroi's favor but some were not and there the remaining 7 students got divided into 2 teams. Kuroi, Mizuki and Kanishi were together and Mizuno, Reina, a girl named Maki and a guy named Masao were together. Mizuno took his team outside in search for an exit but every door was locked. Meanwhile Kuroi took her friends to the terrace so they could use a rope to escape the building but the door to the terrace was locked. Though it didn't stop Kuroi and together with her friends she broke the door but the doorway brought them back to the classroom and it means there was no way out. On the other hand, in under the classroom, Mizuno and others were trying to open a window and luckily Raina successfully opened one. She was happy to see the world outside but the evil had different plans. The one sacrificing everyone in a secret cut Raina's voodoo doll head and the window closed on its own decapitating poor Raina. They scared everyone else in the room and they ran to save their lives but in that hassle Maki tripped and got separated from others. Masao too was soon lost but he was running as fast as he could but suddenly the evil person tied up his voodoo's doll leg and in real life Masao's shoelace intertwined with each other on their own causing him to fall down a flight of stairs and die horribly. Meanwhile Mizuno knew that he had failed everyone in his team so he began screaming in anger throwing stuff here and there. Now after a few minutes Maki made it back to Kuroi's team and Mizuki comforted her. These four then moved together and soon found Mizuno in a classroom who had drawn a weird circle on the ground and according to Mizuno that circle will protect him from any curse. He said that everyone can join him in that circle except Kuroi. Cause she's the reason everyone's dead and hearing this Kuroi left the room. Kanishi followed her and stopped her but Kuroi said that Mizuno is right and that people around her ends up dead. She told Kanishi to go back but Kanishi smacked her and said I won't leave you alone. There Kanishi made Kuroi understand the fact that she's not the reason why everyone is dying and it made Kuroi happy and there they kiss. Meanwhile in the classroom Mizuki and Maki were sitting in their protection circle when suddenly the three noticed that the number on the board turned from 5 to 3 and it means two more people are gonna die. Now Mizuno was sure that it's gonna be Kuroi and Kanishi but it was then that he suddenly felt a sea of pain in his chest. Suddenly he couldn't breathe and something was taken over his body and then his protection circle got dissolved on its own and Mizuno got possessed by something evil. Mizuno turned demonic and seeing this Mizuki tried to run but Mizuno attacked her with a knife and she fell to the ground and her crystal protection bowl cracked as well. Mizuno then walked toward Maki who was scared as hell and couldn't even run and Mizuno ended up killing Maki by stabbing her again and again. On the other hand, using an AC vent, Kanishi and Kuroi had found a way out but the other side of the vent which led them outside of the school was closed with iron bars. They needed to pass through and to find something that can cut those bars, Kanishi went back but before that Kuroi gave him a protection charm. 
Now when Kanishi was searching through the stuff in the storage room, a possessed Mizuno came and attacked Kanishi and he ended up losing his protection charm which alarmed Kuroi. She crawled out of it and soon found Kanishi who had escaped demonic Mizuno. Their Kuroi instantly helped Kanishi but the fate had different plans. It was then that Mizuno slit Kanishi's throat from behind instantly killing him in Kuroi's arm. Kuroi was horrified to see demonic Mizuno and she thought he's gonna kill her now but no. Mizuno there sacrificed himself leaving Kuroi alive. It took a minute for Kuroi to gain her senses back but when she did she heard noises from the forbidden room. Kuroi went to investigate and there she found the demonic altar and on a table there was Kazumi's dead body. It means teacher Shirai was the one who were doing all those demonic rituals with the voodoo dolls. It shocked Kuroi and it was then that <laughs> teacher Shirai came and attacked Kuroi with an axe. Kuroi dodged her attacks but Shirai was out of control. She kept trying killing Kuroi saying that she is the final sacrifice but in that fight luckily Kuroi was able to throw the axe away and then as she wrestled with Shirai, Shirai fell head on onto that axe. Shirai then died taking the name of Lucifer with her last breath and Kuroi thought she won the game. Kuroi then went back to her classroom where Mizuki was left alive and Kuroi consoled her friend saying now everything is fine but then Mizuki kissed Kuroi and said I really do love you. It was then that Kuroi saw that on the blackboard there was still one number left to be sacrificed but who? Kuroi was still confused but then Mizuki stabbed her with a knife and it opened Kuroi's eye. Mizuki then got on her feet and then Kuroi knew the whole story. Actually guys and gals and days in them, it was Mizuki, the original cult member who was offered to perform the sacrifices and Mizuki had possessed teacher Shirai to do the rituals so she won't get caught. It was her all along and now Mizuki laughed wickedly. <laughs> saying you're my 13th sacrifice and now I'll become the most powerful witch in the world after getting Lucifer's power but Mizuki said you're not powerful enough to summon Lucifer. This offended Mizuki and we get to know that it's the only reason Mizuki's last sacrifice is Kuroi so she could use her powers to summon Lucifer. Not only that Mizuki had stolen some of Kuroi's hair and she had tied up her magic powers in a voodoo doll and that was why her magic wasn't working. Now Mizuki blew some air on the doll and it turned to dust and with that doll Kuroi too turned into dust and disappeared. Mizuki laughed as she has won the game and then she chanted some mantras and began the summoning. As she called out to Lucifer, clouds obscured the sky, thunder striked the grounds and the pentagram that was drawn on the city with blood glowed and after that the king of hell Lucifer descended down from the sky in his mighty huge form. Mizuki invited Lucifer in a body and as he bent inside her, Mizuki found herself to be the most powerful in the world. She thought she won but suddenly she wouldn't breathe and it means she was not strong enough to have Lucifer in a human body and then her face peeled off and Lucifer returned to the sky. Mizuki fell and she died but we heard that a pentagram appeared on the ground and from that immersed Kuroi. She was back to life and she said, I told you, you don't have enough powers to summon Lucifer. After that, Kuroi went to the terrace with Kanishi's body. She prayed for his spirit's peace and in the end of the movie, she left the school with a regret in her heart that she couldn't protect those who were close to her and this is where the movie ends. So this was the summary of the movie, Echo Echo, Azerang, Wizard of Darkness and I hope you all understood what I've told you and have liked my video. If you wanna watch this movie, you gotta subscribe to my telegram and follow my other social medias if you wanna get in touch with me. All the links are in the description box. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more horror content. And now I'll see you all in the next one. Till then, stay awake, cause they always see you.